Okay, okay, okay. All right. How you guys doing? Good. 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 Last, Good. last first time up here. Yeah. <laughs> last first. Time. They say that in the fall too. Yeah. So Ken, how did the how the group look on the first day? What's that? The group looked great. The group looked great. Um, the guys has been here flying around, competing like always, having fun. Um, you know the OGs. That's part of the team giving into the new guys. Um, transfer portal guys, the, the freshmen that are that are practicing with us right now. So just instilling that culture and still flying around having fun like we do as usual. So I yeah, expect it. You have a lot of experienced guys mm -hmm. back on defense. Does that make it easier to kind of right. hit the ground running? Right yeah, it definitely does. It definitely does make it easier on uh, both the coaches and ourselves just to instill that culture into the new guys because um, – I like to consider ourselves a great team, and with a great team, you have players that are on that team that instill the culture and hold up that standard along with the coaches. And I believe that we have that, and it just makes our defense that much easier to play for. How are things different around here without uh, Frank Harris and Rashad Wisdom in the locker room? Um, from a football standpoint, nothing, nothing different. We still have a lot of uh, great playmakers that can fly around and compete to the ball. Um, those were those were like my closest friends, though. So. You know, it's a little bittersweet watching them walk out the door, but uh, that just goes to show that it's my time to lead this defense, uh, just like last year, along with some other guys to step up. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, is it different for you personally? You know, not having Rashad in that room where he'd been that figurehead for a while? Um, not really, because I, I I believe that I was more so in a leadership role last year um, with me and Rashad. Um, this year, I'm still in that same role with me and Elliot. Uh, me and Elliot are back there now at field and boundary safety, uh, commanding the defense. So I don't think anything is different. Just uh, just a change in personnel, but our attitude and our uh, our moxie for the game is still the same. So yeah, Coach Trailer was telling us you've always been kind of more of a quiet leader on this team. Is that sort of the the lane you stay in, or do you try to get more vocal now? Uh, I, I, I do tend to try to get more vocal. Um, I've been working on that since about last year. I feel like I've seen some improvement since you know almost a decade ago when I got here. I was more so the quiet guy leading by example. Um, each year growing more vocal, uh, setting, uh, leading by example and verbally. So I feel like I'm, I'm perfecting that right now. How do you work on that? Is it just kind of reminding yourself to do it? or like? How yeah, do you just better? just reminding yourself to talk in out of your comfort zone. Uh, I, like you said, I am kind of an introvert, so my comfort is not really speaking too much, but stepping out of that comfort zone to help your teammates is something that I always do. Um, yeah, just continue working on that more. Coach Ray was just telling us he sees you and Oscar as being kind of similar in that way, both more uh, quiet leaders who are kind of working on bringing out that other side. Do you see right. like a parallel there? What's your guys' opinion? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, me and Oscar have been here the same amount of time since 2019. We've seen it all. We've done it all. Now we just got to put it all together for the last year. And um, that includes both performing well personally and giving in to your teammates. Uh, we're just in that position now where – uh, you know, we're the big dogs, the OGs of the team, and everybody is looking at us for guidance. You know, so we got to show them and we have to tell them. What are you personally hoping to accomplish with this spring practice season? Um, really, just to get all the good, uh, all the new guys that are with us back on our page mm -hmm. or right on our page. Um, for myself, I would say working on more man technique. Uh, I feel like I was pretty good at man, but that could always uh, be improved each year. But yeah, the main thing for me is just giving in to the, the new guys that are here, the guys behind us. It was interesting talking to Coach Trevor last week. He said he wants to be a little bit harder on the guys this year compared to last year. Is that something he's talked to the group about? Yeah, he did uh, mention to that, mention that us to, mention that to us. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, he mentioned that to us um, early in the off season, and it, it has been a little more challenging, but nothing that the team couldn't handle, and nothing that the team couldn't respond positively to. We all understood where he was coming from, um, and we're all on board with it. Why make that change, or what does that do for the group? Um, I believe he made that change because of the start that we had this past year in 2023. We went one and three, knowing that we are a much better team than a one and three team for the first four games. And a lot of the off-season training kind of simulates um, away games that we go to. So, uh, you know, just turn up the heat in the off-season training will give us that um, the capacity to perform well on the road, which is where a majority of our losses were during those four, four games. So if we turn up the heat in off season, we should be good on the road this year. What do you think it does for the new guys coming in here to step into an environment where it's maybe a little bit more intense like that? Yeah, um, I, I feel like it could be challenging for them. I know it was challenging for them, but that's when um, guys like myself and Oscar have to give in to those guys and just show them the ropes. 
and and encourage them and give in to them and make sure that they're um, they're performing at a, the same standard that we are on. And it, it takes a couple of days, it takes a couple of weeks, but um, you know, just with constant constant passion and integrity, you know, we can we can help those guys out. The conference released the full schedule last week. You guys finally know who and when you'll play. What are your thoughts on the schedule and any games stand out to you? It's an exciting game. It's an exciting schedule. I'm, I'm looking forward to it a lot. Um, two bye weeks, I saw that. Um, so I'm guessing everybody has a week zero game. So that's that's new. I'm excited about that. Get to get to get it going early, start the season early. Um, but yeah, we treat every game the same. Um, we're looking forward to Kennesaw State August 31st. Yeah, so that's the forefront on my mind as far as the schedule. Do you guys prefer that? Would you guys prefer to have two bye weeks during the season to kind of rest up and stuff? I do and like two bye weeks, yeah. Um, I like having the bye week after your non-conference games just to get everything back reacquainted and get ready for the, the push of, of conference play. And then halfway through conference play, um, a bye week would, would help as well. So I'm excited about that. I don't think I've had that since I've been here. Maybe maybe in 2020 during COVID, but I haven't had two bye weeks before. From an individual standpoint, what are you working on with your game? How do you want to try to get better from last year to this upcoming season? Um, being more dominant in the passing game. I feel like during in the run game, I was pretty solid tackling a lot, filling the run, uh, defeating blocks. Um, now I just need to make plays in the back end on deep balls, um, high point of the ball, uh, catching interceptions, breaking up on the ball, um, just staying with your man in routes and stuff like that. So I, I definitely have the capacity for that, and I'll be looking to improve on that this spring and summer and fall camp as well. I know it's very early, but what do you think this team's capable of this year? Um, we're capable of a lot, as always. Um, I can't really get into specifics right now, but we're just focusing on one game at a time. So um, August 31st, whenever we play Kennesaw State, you'll see what we're capable of. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you.